Good morning guys. So, um, recently I did a poll on Instagram asking if I should re dye my hair or let it grow out. Um, a giant majority of people um, said I should let it grow out, but that's not what I'm going to do. Uh, this video is going to be me trying to dye my hair on my own because I don't usually do that. I usually have my sister or somebody do it for me, but uh, I think I've witnessed enough to be able to do this on my own now. I'm going to be dyeing it black again. Uh, this The colors by L'Oreal Paris is just the one black or whatever. Um, so the first thing it tells me to do is put this in. It's a pre-color treatment. And it says to just put it in the roots of your hair. So just twist the top off. I'm sure you guys can read instructions. Okay, so I got all of the pre-color treatment in my hair. Um, I would also recommend uh, putting on a shirt that you don't mind getting ruined. This is my hair dyeing shirt. As you can see, um, that's from all the past times that I've dyed my hair. I always wear this shirt. Um, anyway, so the next step is to, you're, this had a little thing on it that you're supposed to snap off. And then it tells you to take the cap off and then put in the color cream. They also provide gloves if you need gloves. I would recommend doing that. The, the tip of this, or the, the top, has a little pointy thing and I'm pretty sure that's meant for you to poke a hole in there. Just so you know. Helpful tip. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know everything that I'm saying though. So now squeeze this, all this in there so that, um, you know, you can dye your hair. Okay, so now it says to put your finger over the top, point away, and shake it until totally blended. So I would do that for like a minute or so. Okay, so I believe that this is shaken up enough. Um, now it is time to put it in your hair. Usually they come with, the boxes of hair dye come with gloves, which I recommend using. However, if you have gloves laying around your house that might be of better quality, I might recommend using those instead because sometimes the dye will bleed through these gloves anyways. But I'm using them anyways. I would also recommend brushing your hair before this, if you want. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do little sections at a time. And what I have witnessed from all the people who have dyed my hair at home in the past is they put the dye in, and once the dye is in, they kind of wrap it up in a little bun and then put it on top of my head, so. Let's try that. Let's see, I just put some in my hair. You might need a little bit more than what I put in, depending on. Sorry, I'm looking in the mirror, not the camera. So, depending on what you. how big of a piece you grabbed or how thick your hair is. You might need to put more dye. And if you have thicker hair, or maybe just, even if you don't, you might want to buy two bottles, just in case. Because I have had to go to Walmart with 
half of my hair dyed, or half of my hair with dye in it, because we didn't have enough. So, unless you want to risk doing that, I would recommend buying two boxes just in case. And you can always return one of them at the end. Okay, so make sure you get all the way down to the bottom if you're doing your whole head. There's instructions on there for if you're not doing your whole head. Okay, so once all of the dye is in there, on the piece you grabbed, just kind of twist it into a little bun. And you could bobby pin it if you'd like, or whatever. That was a horrible bun. Let's try that again. pin it like I said if it's not staying and then just do that to your whole head. I will check back in when I am done with all of that. Okay so my hair is not in buns because I did the top and the front and then I went and asked my mom for help because I didn't know how I was gonna do the back and be for sure that I got it all. So if you feel confident enough um, doing it on your own and doing the back on your own by all means go ahead um, as you can see I also got some on my face a little bit I have a black line right there I have some on my neck and my arm and my wrists so I don't think I have any on this arm but regardless I highly recommend getting help if you can get help but if not, then you know, you can do the bun technique or whatever you want to do to uh, dye your hair. Um, and if you're using black, be a little bit careful uh, getting it on things like your skin because it will wear off after a couple days, but it will definitely be there for a little while. Um, so if you don't want people to know, then maybe do it on like the weekend so it will be gone by Monday or something, whatever you want to do. Um, but yeah, getting help is always the best option in my opinion because this is not an easy thing to do on your own. Um, also, if you are doing the bun technique, make sure when you, you get the middle of your little sections because uh, I had a little bit of trouble doing that as well. And if you let your hair grow out, if you're doing your whole head, make sure to get your roots, or not your roots, the ends of your hair underneath and the part really close to your scalp, like your, the smallest part of your roots, I guess. I don't know, I guess it's all your roots, but you know what I mean. So basically now I have to let it sit for 30 minutes and then I'm going to hop in the shower and wash it all out. Once you get in the shower, you don't really have to worry about it getting on your hands. Uh, like you don't have to take gloves in the shower or anything. It'll, it won't stain your hands or anything. Um, Assuming, I mean, I can't speak for all dyes out there, but all the ones I've used won't stain your hands while you're in the shower. So you shouldn't have to worry about that too much. Um, and then basically, while you're in the shower, make sure, rinse your hair out until no more black comes out, or no more of whatever color. So the water's clear again, basically. And then, um... While you're in the shower, I believe you're supposed to use this, which is the third step. Um, it says, um, yeah, while you're in the shower, okay, it does say with gloves on to add water to your hair and gently rinse through until the hair color washes out. That's not what I do. I just jump in the shower. But if you want to do that, feel free. And then once all of the water is clear again, uh, put this in your hair, massage, leave in your hair for two minutes, and then rinse. So that's what I do. So like I said, jump in the shower, rinse it till the water is clear. I don't wear gloves, but 
if you want to, you can. And then once the water runs clear, put this in my hair, leave it for two minutes, and then rinse it out, and then I'm done. So, yeah, I will leave it in for 30 minutes, jump in the shower, and then come back to check in with you guys. Okay, so I just finished dyeing my hair. I don't know if you guys um, can tell the difference now. Maybe you'll be able to tell the difference in Wednesday's video when my hair is dry. Maybe you, maybe you will never be able to tell the difference. That's okay. Some people, uh, even before, some people didn't really notice the brown and black in my hair. But now it's all black. Hopefully, when it dries, we'll see how many brown, if there's any brown, uh, strands there are left. Um, as you can see, I don't have as much black on my face, just a little bit right here. Um, I don't have the line on my face or most of it that was up here. The spot on my neck and on my arm is gone bone on my wrist is mostly gone and this one so uh, keep that in mind a lot of it might come off in the shower I exfoliated my face and I tried to exfoliate right here a little bit to um, try and get it off and it seems to have worked so maybe if you can't get it off try to exfoliate with something um, I have soap that has little exfoliating stuff in it, so maybe try that if you can't get it off your face and you want it off. If not, just let it, you know, fade out for however long it takes. Um, but yeah, I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful for whoever is looking to dye their hair in the near future. Um, I also want to point out that if you wash your hair out good enough, it doesn't matter what towel you use to dry your hair or what clothes you wear afterwards. It shouldn't uh, get black or whatever color you're using on it uh, if you rinsed your hair out good enough. But yeah, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if this video was helpful to you. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday.